Textroid has officially launched their campaign. Links in the video description, go check them out. And I am definitely buying two cars. <laughs> Nextroid, the adventure is real. I am very sorry because I did not upload the third part last week. I don't know if somebody noticed that. Anyway, so this week is the third part and I cut the wings already. So I will be working on the wings and I will finish the tail. Some things to do on the tail. I will be finishing this project a little bit faster because I have some other stuff to take care of. So I don't have that much time. I will finish this airplane as fast as possible and I will fly it. And uh, yeah, I have to refocus again on the Turbo 7. So enough talking, let's start walking. <laughs> Those two pieces of wood, they are like uh, the main spar for the wings. Look at the shape. I mean, they are from balsa, light, and I think I will uh, reinforce them with some fiberglass or I would just use some carbon fiber. In this airplane there will be no uh, spoilers, just flaps and ailerons, that means I would have, uh, I will have three servos in each wing, uh, yeah, I want to keep it light and simple as I said, uh, yeah, that's it. Main landing gear are so good with suspension. So now I will build the main landing gear base out of this wood and uh, install the retracts and then continue the rest. All the retracts, they are also working.
those two pieces for supporting and making the whole structure more rigid and of course they will be connected to the main uh, wing spar so they will be strong and also I will support them from the middle somehow two pieces of wood for the engines mount and they are going to be placed in here like uh, this somehow yep keep it light I will use some fiberglass, those two pieces, to reinforce the main spar. I'm not going to use uh, carbon fiber rods in here because we don't need the airplane, no, it's not going to be so too heavy. Uh, so I would just use two pieces to make it a bit stronger. I will install just some uh, normal hinges, like those, to keep it basic. servos for the flaps they are all connected one cable and they are officially washed very simple and they are strong 
more than enough. Now we have to install the servos for the ailerons and then the speed controls. Connect everything inside the wing. And yeah, engines later. And yeah, it's like 60% of the wing is ready. But still one big thing to do is the wing mount. This will take some time, but we have to do it anyway. But we are almost there. All the cables are connected uh, together now and I will connect them all to one connector, retracts, flaps and uh, the ailerons, uh, they will be connected to one connector. I said that already, but they will be there. So it's easier because the wing, the wings are removable, so it's uh, less complex when just... You know. Everything is connected. I have flaps and retracts, and the other ones servos are working, but I did not uh, install the other ones yet. But flaps, second position, perfect. And let me zoom in and show you the landing gear. Gear down, like this. Perfect. Flaps, full flaps, so cool. And the connection is very simple. Uh, here I have six channels receiver. Uh, it will be enough for the whole airplane, by the way, because we just have six channels. They are more than enough and everything is connected by Y connect just by one connector and yeah it's very simple and it works perfect so two uh, three servos uh, on the tail plus six those are nine and uh, on the nose of we have three plus the retracts so we have with the retracts let's say we have around 15 servos in total that means, yeah, I need minimum eight eight amps uh, uh, UBIC unit, which is to power the whole thing, because I think I have two ACs which they can run on six S because this setup is going to be six cells, but I think my ACs they don't have uh, UBIC unit, which is they don't have this five volt power. That means I have to use a separate uh, UBIC unit, and uh, yeah, should be should be okay. So I think it's enough for this video. Next video, next week for sure. Next week, I think the airplane will be finished because I will just now install uh, some lights on the wing and then cover the wings. And the, the, the mount, the wing mount is very important. I have to do it. And what else? Yeah, and then covering the whole thing. But I think I will make the airplane before the, 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 the vinyl thing because... Uh, it will add so much weight i would just love like to fly it have fun with it when it's light because when i add this vinyl or vinyl i don't know how they call it v vinyl i think uh, it will like double weight the whole thing i know that and uh, yeah so next video we will continue and hopefully we will drive the airplane next video will be like part four uh, we will drive the airplane and then the next one we will cover it and made in flight will be very soon so thanks for watching and bye bye.